Hello again and welcome to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Um, today we're covering the, the fifth topic listed on the specification um, referred to as scope. So we're going to define what scope is in a computer science context. Um, so it refers to where a variable slash constant slash function slash procedure um, is accessible in your code. Right, that doesn't make much sense. So if I tell you that scope is sometimes also called visibility, that makes more sense. And even more so if you think of a scope as in the scope of a sniper, a gun, or a telescope here. So it's, it's almost like a zoom. Um, so the level of scope determines whether the item in question can be accessed by all of the program or just certain parts. And this is determined by where the item is declared slash defined. So um, you can think of scope as in the levels of zoom. So a high scope, a high zoom, you're only focusing in on the, the small details. So anything defined in that, that small um, scope, it can't be accessed by the bigger picture. Whereas if you're zooming in, if you're not zooming in, I should say, if you're at the, if you're at the lowest level of scope, you're looking at the whole program, anything in that can be accessed and used by the other bits and that's quite a, a difficult concept to understand so even though the specification doesn't mention um, any other types of scope or levels of scope I think it's important to know just to um, to understand it uh, fully so when we're talking about the scope of variables we're going to look at variables in this, in this context because they're the similar they're the uh, simplest of the uh, four main main uh, items we can talk about. So there are two main types of variables in the context of scope. You have global variables, and these are the variables declared in the main body of the program, and so can be accessed anywhere in the code. So if we're thinking of our sniper um, uh, visual representation of this, you wouldn't be zoomed in at all. You'd be at the furthest. You'd be at the lowest level of uh, zoom. So you can see the whole program and anything declared in that um, section can be uh, accessed anywhere. Um, so for example in Python if we um, define a variable a chosen number equals 20. This is a global variable because it's in the main body of the text. It's not indented. Um, this is obviously relevant to Python or this this is in Python so it may be different in other languages but um, this is just an example so this is a global variable it's in the main body of text so when we define a, um, a function here we can use this variable to um, well in this case um, add one to it and when we call this variable um, sorry call this function we get 21 that makes sense because you've got 20 here it's being used by the function plus one and it's a global variable because it's being accessed by a fun it's being accessed by something and they can be accessed by everything um, in the program so um, contrasting well an opposite to this is a local variable and these are variables declared within a function or procedure and so can be accessed only by the code within that function or procedure so we're zoomed in in our sniper analogy here um, so we can only see the function or procedure and so the variables declared in that sort of circle can only be um, accessed by anything else in that circle effectively so um, another example so we're declaring another a function named number here um, and we're declaring the variable um, as 20 again um, but when we try and print it without actually calling the uh, function we get an error because it can't be accessed by the main body because it's only it's a local variable so it's only accessible within that function so we can't use it outside of that function and therefore we get an error and that links in quite nicely with the next topic which is all about, all about errors and error handling um, so um, yeah we'll look at that next but uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you next time bye